Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We've got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Mike. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please? James, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help! Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening! That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not is the me? only one feels pressure! The factory situation is serious, Anne! Real serious! Not right now! <gasps> not tonight. No way. I had a great time, and I really enjoyed the ride. Always happy to give you a ride. You're funny. Me? <laughs> I gotta get away from here, and my wonderful family, like right now. Come on, they're not that bad. You don't live with them. Catch you tomorrow. Let me check my diary, see if I've got room. Girls like me are in demand. Mm, no doubt. I'll swing by around 8 tomorrow.
Damn ice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. Heard that so many times, they sound like a broken record. Same thing again and again. It might help if you actually gave a fuck, you know? <laughs> For once. Get over yourself. Nothing new here. They've been arguing since we were in diapers. Well, you were in diapers. I was better trained. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Hey! Quit acting crazy! Sweetheart, I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. Dennis? You still up there? What do you want? Just want to know how my sweet brother is doing. Not so good. Bigfoot clumsy ass stomped all over my records. She's your baby sister. Anyways, looks like she's got better taste in music than you. Hey, Mom? You there? Never understood his fascination with this stuff. What are you talking about? They don't care. They're not interested. They 
don't see me. To them, I'm invisible. That isn't right at all. I'm not doing that. for everything. It's not fair. Hey, Megan. What's up? Not listening. Hey, who are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. You were alone. Keep acting all weird and someone's gonna come and take you away. What was that? You see that? <sighs> Megan. Hey, Megan! Anthony, you there? Anthony, where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me... You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! Are you in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan?
Won't you spare me over till another Interesting. Excuse me for a moment. Hmm. Life is as tedious as a twice told tale, vexing the dull ear of a drowsy man. True, if the story has been told fully, completely. But the truth of this story isn't fixed. Far from it. A story can change a great deal when told from a different perspective. A chance to walk in different shoes, make fresh choices, discover new things. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, 
I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Where's my phone? You okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Careful. There's no rush. Don't be such an old woman and help me up. <sighs> Not sure I'm the old woman here. What happened? Not sure what went down back there. Everything happened so fast. Slow down. Breathe. You're in shock. I don't like this. Where are we? Well, we're sure as hell not on the bus anymore. Have you seen any of our classmates? Or our hotshot professor? Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. 
Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. That looks bad. I hope Taylor is okay. Taylor will be just fine. Girl has a knack for getting out of trouble. I know Taylor can be demanding, selfish, quarrelsome, and small-minded, but other than that, she's a real babe. Lay off Taylor. She's done nothing to you. I'm thinking I'm gonna file charges against the college. For what? Having a bad night? The college are responsible for our safety. This nightmare is negligence. Not only have we crashed in the middle of nowhere, we're saddled with Jumpy John as our way out. Right now, our priority is getting out of here. Follow me. Why do men always feel they have to be in charge? I can find my own way. Thank you. You coming? Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy? How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy, that outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. You have no idea how right you are. At least someone here has some taste. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel! You got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. We staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. I cannot stand water. Ever since I was a kid, no way I'm crossing over. We nearly got mangled in a bus crash. And you're worried about getting wet? You don't understand. This outfit cost a fortune. There's nothing to it. Just follow me. Come on. It's easy. Oh, God. I hate this. That's it. Keep going. You got it. Oh. Oh. Hell, I wish this was over. So, you can be a gentleman after all. Thanks. What is it? I don't get it. What exactly do you see in that girl? I have no idea which girl you're talking about. You couldn't be more obvious. When are you going to talk to Taylor? I'm not in any hurry. You should be. The longer you wait, the fewer chances you'll get. Not sure I want advice from someone whose marriage came apart at the seams. The situation with my ex-husband is nothing like yours with that girl. You don't like it so much when the spotlight's on you, huh? Whatever you say. I still cannot fathom what you see in Taylor. We should keep moving. Reach the others. Maybe the fact that I've had a bad breakup means I know what I'm talking about. That pylon has to be near a road. Probably the one back into town. Good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good, but this gate is chained. We can't get through. Now what do we do? Look around, see if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. plan now head into town see if we can get help you know where town is 
Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. <laughs> You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? You're right, I'm sorry. It's got nothing to do with me. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere. I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then. Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. That is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. 
There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Did you all see that? What was that? At least someone. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Thanks for backing me up earlier. With Taylor. Not a problem. We're all a little twitchy right now. Maybe back off everyone a little, huh? What's up? I'm sure I've seen that before somewhere. Like where? Nothing unusual. Are you all right? You look pale. I'm a little concerned. You blacked out for a while after the crash. Yeah, I'm not sure. Still a little spaced out here. A concussion can scramble your memory. He'll most likely come back to you. We standing here all night, or we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something, yeah? What's bugging you? All I'm asking is we take a look. I can't do this. You need to make your mind up. Make my mind up about what? Me. I'm not running around after you like some lapdog. Sorry, I know I can sound tough sometimes, but what happened back there really got to me. It freaked me out, too. I just... Wish I was better at knowing what's going on with you. Come on, you already know. Hey, take a look at this. How about a game? Let's throw a few. May take our minds off the fog. Really? It seems pretty lame to me. You scared I'll whoop your ass? Warm up with an easier shot. Go for a single 20. Beginner's luck. Try for double seven. You're still shook up a little. Shit. 
Keep going. <sighs> At least my eyesight seems okay. Great shooting. Go for the bullseye with your last dart. You throw a mean dart, even when you're not in a game. Kind of weird, right? Stuck here with these guys because of that fog. How do you feel about all this shit? I don't really know. We're not having a great night, that's for sure. But I guess it could have been worse. No names, but some around here could do with being taken down a notch or two. What's on your mind? They think I'm an idiot. No one believed me about the fog. Then, hey, presto, they get lost too. And it's like, oh, maybe Taylor was right after all. I don't think you're an idiot at all. Far from it. Thanks, Daniel. We should go and check out what's happening. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. She's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Natural talent. Stay. Play a little. No problem. I'm going to take a look around. Oh, man. I could use a shot of that right about now. I really got to cut down on the booze. Hmm. We all drink too much from time to time. You should leave. Now what? Can I get some peace around here? There a phone in here? There must be a phone in the bar. Lon's dead. You're shitting me. Ugh, everything here seems dead. Cool. Thanks for the help. Yeah. We appreciate you helping us. Mine's dead. This place is a bust. There's nothing for us here. For once I agree. The sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. parchment from the 70s can we just get out of here let's get out of here and you all hear that I definitely heard something did you hear that as well come on whatever it was came from outside I really think it's smart to go back outside well, there's nothing for us here we need to move on Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural.
That is one messed up looking pile of something. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. That fog has affected more than your sense of direction. Your imagination's also out of control. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Andrew, can you come over? What is it? I just saw someone out in the woods. Really? Maybe it was the bus driver. What I saw out there was a child. If there was anyone out there, they've gone now. All I see is trees. You two, we need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. What is it? I'm not sure. Let me take a closer look. Your name, sir. Who are you? <laughs> Pray tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see how you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay how can you not have seen that I couldn't see anything through this impossible impenetrable fog well go ahead tell them what we saw 
a little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew, somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I know it's been unsettling, but we're gonna get out of this. Unsettling my ass? Unsettling is way back over the border somewhere. What went down back there? Not sure, but whatever it was scared the crap out of them. We better keep an eye on them.
see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so, if not, fuck. Might get a better view from up there. this trash. How you doing? Not sure. Still can't get my head around what happened back there. We lost you in the fog. Sorry. Shows we need to stick together. For sure we do. What is out there? Stick together and we'll make it through this. Thanks. I appreciate you talking to me. Hey, something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that. Hey, wait, stop. I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good.
What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. It's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am not going into that godforsaken town. Not now, not ever. We were going before. Why the sudden change of heart? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. You are so full of yourself. I am not taking orders from a fool, and I have no intention of waiting around here. Come on, Angela, don't walk away. Professor or not, you missed out on charm school. Why come down on her like that? That's not helping. Ease up there, Daniel. What are you doing? I'm going to get her back. She can't be left solo out there. Hold up a second there, Hiro. There's no way heading into town is the right move. Which way are you headed then? Not sure the fog will let any of us go anywhere except into town. I'm not letting some fog make decisions for me. I'm trying another path. Okay, so go with those two, and if you find help, send some our way. What's your move here? We'll follow the road all the way into town. Hopefully find help up there. Be safe. Okay then. We will. You too. Just you and me, kid. I'm glad you stuck with me. Almost didn't. Not after the way you spoke to Angela. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was still shook up. Hold up. You hear that? guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. Now what? Okay. I wonder where the others are right now. Feels like it's my fault we split up in the first place. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? 
It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. What place is this? Professor? crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. What the hell was that in there? It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? What am I? In second grade? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with.
Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. <clears throat> Hold up there. Say whatever you want. There is no way I'm staying here. You'll do what you have to. I get it. I'll take along with you. Can you believe that prima donna John accusing me of overreacting? No, I get it. The professor was a little out of line back there. <laughs> a little? John was so far past the line, he's gonna need a visa to get back across. Give him a break. He's under more pressure than the rest of us. I am walking away from this godforsaken place if I can. Feel free to join me. I know you saw something. It's written all over you. I don't want to discuss it. What I want is to get far away from here. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Goes for both of us. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Maybe I went a little overboard back there. Coming this way doesn't seem to be such a great idea now. Maybe you could show a little more patience with the rest of us. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me for wanting out of this nightmare. We've just got to suck it up and move on. We're not done yet. We'll find another way. Hold up! That must be what we heard just now. Are you okay? You should come out of there right now. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. talking about get away or he will find me <gasps> come on out mary i know very well you are in there please no let me go i will release you once i'm sure you will not speak of our secret your childish games tire me you will respect me and you will say nothing. No! What is this? 
Let's get out of here right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who you played him with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with Andrew. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I... I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. <clears throat> Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Here, need a hand? Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. <laughs> Let's just find another way. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. 
Pull your finger out of your ass and open the goddamn door! Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. <laughs> Angela? How the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? What is happening? Sooner will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. girl. She... she was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business. Nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, if this ends badly, if you do not open up, you will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this.
the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? This was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? I saw this woman being taken away. Arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl. She gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. This woman, Amy, the one the girl ratted out, she's my double? Oh, great. Take it easy. It's not just about you. Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. <laughs>